Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you two different methods for creating center guides in Inkscape. But of course before I get into that I want to direct you guys over to my website at DaviesMediaDesign.com. As always we have tons of GIMP and Inkscape tutorials on here as well as GIMP and Inkscape help articles so definitely check that out. You can also visit my new Inkscape tutorials page where I have tons of Inkscape video tutorials and help articles on here. Or you can support my channel and help me grow by becoming a patron on Patreon and get tons of GIMP and Inkscape extras in return. And I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. So in other programs like GIMP, there are some built-in features where you can very easily create center guides based on a few clicks. And in Inkscape, they kind of have some features you can use to create these center guides. They're not quite as readily available. They do take a little bit of finagling on the user's part, uh, but they're still pretty simple to do as long as you know the dimensions of your document. So in this case, I do have a document that is going to be 1920 by 1080 pixels. So if I go to File, Document Properties, I can see the size of the document I'm working with, and this is very important to know, especially the units. So what I have to do is calculate what is half of 1920 and what is half of 1080. So half of 1920 is going to be 960 pixels and half of 1080 is going to be 540 pixels. So we're gonna keep those two numbers in mind while we're working. And the first method is going to involve using an object. So in this case, I'll use a rectangle. And let me just switch my color here to something like black. So for starters, I'm just going to draw a random rectangle and make sure that the corners are not rounded. It doesn't really matter that much, but it's just easier. So now we could change the width and the height of our shape. So what I'll do is I'll just come up here and change the width to 960, which is half of the width, and change the height to 540, which is half of the height. And that gives us a shape that is a quarter of the actual document size. And now what I'll do is I'll grab my select tool and you do wanna make sure this is snapped to the top left corner of our screen here. You can always turn on the snap to page border option over here. But now I'll go to object, objects to guides. And that's going to give me these guides here. Make sure you go to view and have guides turned on right here if you don't see your guides. And you can see we've already got center guides here on our document, but I do want to delete these two extra guides over here. So you're just gonna hover over these with your select tool until they turn red and then click on it and hit the backspace key. So I'll do the same with this one. I'm gonna hover over it, click, hit the backspace key and that will get rid of our excess guides and now we have center guides here. So let me just delete these. So the second method is going to be similar here in that you need to know half of your width and half of your height. So what I'll do for starters is I'm gonna click up here on the rulers and just drag a guide down and do the same over here. So now we have a vertical guide and a horizontal guide. And now what I'll do is I'll just double click on this with my select tool. And what I need to do is set my Y to be half of the height. So in this case, again, it'll be 540. And I recommend setting the X to half of the width because that's going to be where this little center dot is. And that's going to indicate the center of your document. So in this case, we'll go with 960 and click OK. And I'll do the same with this guide here. So I'm gonna hover over it until it turns red, double click on it. And the X once again will be 960 and the Y will be 540. I'll click OK. And now we have our center guides. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. It's a pretty easy tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you did, you could subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Davies Media Design. Don't forget to click the bell to also be notified every time I have a new tutorial. You can also check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.